2024, should sellers be paying buyer broker commissions when they sell their home? If you've been wondering about this, join us for today's video where we'll discuss the perspectives and data that you need to make a great decision. Earlier this year, the real estate industry made headline news for something other than low inventory, competitive offers, and rising home prices. There was a major settlement in a class action lawsuit dealing with commissions that sellers would pay to buyer brokers when selling their home. While the details of this settlement and the case are pretty extensive, what we want to focus today on is whether, after this settlement has happened, you as a seller should consider paying buyer broker commissions when selling your home. First, let's acknowledge all of us like to pay less and save money and get a good deal. It's a natural instinct to, to do this, though many of us, I think, have found over time that sometimes paying for quality, whether that be a good or a service, is actually more profitable in the long run. So that's why for more than 10 years, we've used data and research to answer this question and this conundrum for our clients. To help clients find the most profitable path to selling their home, we dive into the MLS on a regular basis to look at the offers of seller compensation to buyer brokers and how those closed sales turned out. Time on market, list to sale price ratio so that we can help them calculate what is the best offer that they can make so that they can have the highest profit to their sale. In the most recent research that we've done, we analyzed more than 10,129 listings that closed between January 1st and the end of April of this year in the Puget Sound region. We found that more than 99% of all listings offered 2% to 3% compensation to a buyer broker. Less than a half of 1%, 81 listings in total offered no compensation to buyer brokers, and the majority of those listings actually came from one home builder who has not offered compensation to buyer brokers for many years now in an effort to try to get buyers who are unrepresented as they embark on a new home purchase. When we dove deep into the data and looked at resale homes that provided no compensation to buyer brokers, we found two things. First, it took 27 days on average for those listings to sell, which is 20 days more than the seven day average for properties providing a two and a half or 3% buyer broker commission. Additionally, those properties offering no compensation to buyer brokers uh, sold for about 2% less than listings offering a 3% commission. When we turn our attention to the 99% of the market offering somewhere between a 2% and 3% buyer broker commission, what we find is an increasing sale price ratio based upon the increase in compensation. Those properties that were offering a 2% uh, commission typically sold for about 100.8% of their original list price. Those offering a 2.5% commission sold for 101.55%, and those offering a 3% commission on average sold at 102.24%. Now, of course, it's important to calculate in the savings that come from having a lower commission offering. And when we calculate those savings in for the net proceeds difference, we find that a 3% commission still outperforms forms 2.5% and 2%, though the margins are a little bit tighter. What we see here is a 0.18% improvement uh, for a 3% commission versus a 2.5% commission, and a 0.42% improvement versus a 2% commission. Then when we turn our attention to time on market, what we find is 3% and 2.5% were performing pretty much equally, with the 2% commission uh, group uh, taking 11 days, or about four more days to sell uh, on average. Now the interesting part as well is when we look at higher compensation, we, you, know, you would believe with this higher compensation, 3% outperforming 2.5% and 2%, would 4% or something over 3% perform even better? That's where we find now. It typically, those properties are just overpriced and you're not going to convince a broker to sell an overpriced property to their client. They're going to negotiate you down and that's exactly what we saw in terms of sale price as well as time on market. So the lesson here is offer fair compensation to a buyer or broker, however, if your home is overpriced, adjust it, otherwise you get lesser results. Now it's important to recognize this is regional data for the Puget Sound. Each home and neighborhood and community are a bit different, and so if you're considering selling your home and are wondering about this, we would love to do this analysis for your neighborhood so that you can make an optimal choice for the sale of your home. 
So seeing all of this data, you might be wondering what we're recommending to our sellers today. Well, first and foremost, it's our job to help sellers find the most reliable path to the optimal outcome of the sale of their home. And most of those sellers define optimal outcome as the highest net proceeds check they can receive at closing. Seeing the data, we're recommending offering 25 to 3% buyer broker compensation during the sale of their home, as we can see that this is the most likely path to that highest net proceeds check based upon the most recent data. Now, of course, we're gonna be updating this data over time, and we also understand that it's our job to inform sellers and help them make the best choice for themselves. We fully expect over the next few months that there might be a seller or two who want to innovate and be part of that small fraction of a percent who offer no compensation and see how things work. If we've got a client who wants to do that, we'll respect that and help them along that path so long as we can provide them informed consent, the information they need to make a great decision, as well as knowing the risks and the potential uh, pitfalls of a choice that they make. That is what we're committed to. We've always been committed to that. We inform you, you decide what to do, and then we go out there and make the best of it. I hope this approach to answering your the common question of should sellers pay buyer broker commissions any longer is helpful for you. If you've got follow-up questions or you're thinking of selling your home, please give us a call. We'd love to help you work through the uh, decision process.